The man who founded Emissaries of Divine Light had an inner name, you might say, a secret name for his work and the work of people who are with him. He called it the Priesthood of the Golden Veil. Somewhat mystical sounding name, Priesthood of the Golden Veil. We speak of that veil as being the veil between what is invisible and even unknown by many people, a veil that's opaque, that can't be seen through for most people. And so for many people in their life experience, they're banished in large part to living an earthly life, a human life, without the benefit of the transparency that Stephanie's poem spoke of. That's dreary at best. (laughs) And so we do need the golden veil to experience what is invisible, not apparent to most people, what's on the other side of the veil, which is some kind of inner reality that belongs with the outer reality, that belongs as a essential part of an integrated whole experience for a human being and for the world in which we live. And when we experience that, there's happiness and fulfillment and empowerment and wisdom in living because when that veil that which has been opaque for us turns transparent, what's on the other side easily and naturally flows through. And what is on the other side is the source of our wisdom and power. And in fact, who we are is there. 